Well, this is not my normal background drop or anything else. You can tell I'm sitting in the truck. You probably can see all the rods in the background and stuff. But anyways, of course, you need a phone to all the information. Everybody coming in wondering what's going on. And a lot's going on. Uh, first thing is, is I'm in the truck because if I was outside, you would not hear me. The wind is blowing 60 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour it is raging oh by the way anybody that's new to the channel welcome um this is a it, plus if you want me to keep these fishing parts going this spring um go down on the corner there leave me a comment that says yes and hit the like button so let me know to keep doing this but anyways yeah back to getting blown around the wind's got my brain scattered it's howling. Uh, we got hit probably about mid late morning. Uh, the wind moved in and the temperature dropped over 10 degrees within minutes. I got my mittens on. Didn't start the day that way. And it's raining hard on and off. So talk about conditions changing fast. It did today. So that's just today's weather. Fun with weather. In general... A lot's been going on um, since my last report. I'm gonna since I'm here in the west end of the lake. I'll start right here. It's been a story of two ends of the lake: the west end and the east end. Here in the west end, it's dry. Our creeks are very low. The rain we're getting is probably not going to help. Um, a couple of the rivers that are dam controlled, they've literally turned the water off. However. You got to check because I could turn it off for a day or two, turn it back on. So you got to be really checking your water conditions daily just to see because things can vary quite a bit from no water to maybe a trickle. Water temperatures are actually in the, in the mid 40s. So we got good water temperature. We got fish starting to spawn. Things are happening where we have water flow. So we're dealing with low clear water, we're dealing with flaky fish, we're dealing with spooky fish. So it's long cast, petite flies, careful fishing. That's the game right now. So we're on a, we're in our spawn cycle right now. The, we're in the front end of the spawn cycle. So fish are just starting to set up. There's still a lot of fish. Obviously, if you can find some deep water, there's going to be fish in there. So that's pretty much what's going on. Flies... Um, we're using a lot of buggers, streamers, zonkers, um, small intruders. Definitely we're getting fish on the swing. Uh, when, low, when we get low water conditions, the nymphs help. Sometimes egg flies help because they don't often like to chase because they're feeling kind of spooky. So we're having to do a little bit of drift. Sometimes we're drifting some small buggers, getting a great response with that. So it's just on the west end. We're just going to have to watch our con water conditions. I suspect that the fishing here is going to shut down in about a week because of water conditions. So that's kind of the tail of wool, plus it's blowing 70 miles an hour right now. So that's a lot of fun. So that's the tail of wool on the, or wool, wool on the um, west end of the lake. The east end is just the opposite. It surfs up. Uh, I got, um, the morning of the Recording this report, the Salmon River went from a 750 release to a 2200 release. Talk about ramping up, and they just turned a valve on. Well, this warm water or weather, we've had a um, lot of snow melt, so a lot of water sitting the reservoirs. The reservoirs are full and they're dumping. The creeks are full, the smaller rivers north of the Salmon are very high. The crest, they seem to be coming down. With the runoff and everything else, um, the Salmon River was like 70 CFS short of hitting 3,000. It's big. And that's runoff off the hill. So my guess is water temperatures are somewhere between 32 and 35, depending on where you take it in the river. It's cold. I was up fishing on it last week, and the fishing was tough. There's a bunch of fish up there, but they're crabby. Uh... We were using a lot of small nymphs, um, indicator fishing, and that was the only thing that was working. We were trying to swing. It wasn't working. Uh, fish were coming in. Um, went up um, down into the DSR. You would find some fish in the shallow waters. 
Um, they weren't really set up and spawning. They were just fish moving. So we've had some fish moving in. So the fish are coming in. With this 3,000 coming down through, it'll be sucking fish. So behind this high water in the Salmon River, we're going to have some fishing. So you can go to the west end, have no water, or we can go to the east end and have too much water. I just wish I had a big bucket and I could run it west, but anyway, but I don't. So that's really what's going on. We're either dried up and no water on one side of the lake, or we're at flood on the other side of the lake. Welcome to spring steelhead fishing. Ain't it fun? Dealing with conditions. How long will the high water last on the sand, up on the salmon? I figure we're going to have probably a week of it. That'd be my guess. Then it'll start to moderate. Um, it's raining here on the west end. The ground is so dry, I don't think it's going to, in fact, I know it won't help. So it's going to be kind of a catch as catch can, and like I said, oh, probably about a week. I know with the guide service, I'm moving up to the Salmon River way earlier than I normally do because I know the fishing on the west end is going to collapse. So that's really what's going on. Um, on an, a couple of announcements, we're still collecting names for the spay casting clinic we're going to do in August. Also, um, stay tuned, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button because we got a couple things um, we're working on for a couple of our next videos coming forward. I just did a video, we called it A Day on the River. I'll put a link into the description. And I'm working on another one right now, editing a new video to hope to ha um, have on have up here in the next couple of days. So there's videos coming, folks. That's why I want to hit that little bell icon to make sure that you um, catch these videos as they come in and some more fishing reports. Once again, if you like the fishing reports and you want to continue to see them, say please stay up with the fishing reports on the comments and hit the like button so I know that um, people are looking at it and they like the reports and they like to listen to me sit in the truck and babble. Because... You wouldn't hear me talking out on a river today the way it's blowing. Until next time, folks, let's try to keep fishing. Talk to you later. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our islands or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.